friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India this is a cataract with 360 degree posterior synechia we can call it occlusio pipli in occlusio pipli the intraocular pressure should be high but in this case the intraocular pressure is only 8 millimeter of mercury ultrasonography shows retinal detachment total RD so the cause of low intraocular pressure with 360 degree posterior synechia is because of the total retinal detachment I have taken up this case for cataract surgery because the patient has to undergo retinal detachment surgery by this time the main incision and on side port has been made tripan blue dye has been applied underneath an air bubble and the dye is washed out the dye has stained only the exposed part of the capsule I inject some visco and now I'm going to break the synechia I take the iris spatula try to push the iris but it is firmly attached to the anterior capsule of the cataract now I take a Sinsky hook but I find that this air bubble is disturbing me so I replace the air bubble with 2% HPMC and now I take the Sinsky hook again and scratch the synechia and I could get a gap I am careful not to damage the anterior capsule yes I have made a opening and now I have asked for the dye and I'm going to inject dye through this gap so that there is uniform staining of the anterior capsule and now I wash the dye again but it will not wash out all the dye inject visco 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and now I can go through this gap with the hair with the iris spatula and break the synechia almost more than 180 degree go through the side port and break the rest of the synechia and now visco is again injected we can see there is a fibrous tissue ring around the people I'm using a capsular axis forceps to remove this fibrous tissue ring it got torn and it is coming piecemeal yes so it has come out I can see a lot of dye it is coming out I'm washing the dye again to get clear anterior chamber and clear view yes after washing the dye if we inject visco the visibility is maximum and this is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose as the viscoelastic substance as the OVD and now the size of the people is about 4 millimeter and I can use this device BHEX people expansion device 
invented by Dr. Suvain Bhattacharchi of Kolkata, West Bengal, India. This is a beautiful device for small people FECO and it doesn't cause any sphincter tear that is the beautiful advantage of this device. It dilates the people only 5.5 millimeter and it doesn't cause much stress on the sphincter pipli and the sphincter pipli remains intact at the conclusion of surgery the pipli is round if we use iris hooks we tend to pull the iris hooks too much and that causes the damage to sphincter pipli so if you use iris hooks don't pull the iris hooks maximum just pull it so that you can get dilated people of about 5.5 or 6 millimeter and you can do surgery through that opening and after placing the BHEX people expansion device see the beautiful hexagonal shape of the people and now is the time to do capsulorexis. I'm going to use a needle 26 gauge needle bent I have incised the capsule raised the capsular tag holding the capsular tag with the uterata forceps going anti clockwise around the hexagonal papal around the margin of the hexagonal papal and getting an adequate sized rexis of about 5 millimeter and now hydro dissection hydro dissection is being done fluid wave is passed just under the anterior capsular rim the nucleus is balloted and I'm sure that the nucleus is free from its capsule I didn't rotate the nuclear mass in this case but I am sure it is free from the capsule. And now is the time to introduce the tip of the FECO handpiece. The machine being used is Oatly Easy FECO machine. It's a very economic machine, but it has great power to even conquer a very hard cataract. It is very nice to hold the nuclear mass and for direct job this is one of the best machines in the FECO machine industry and now I have chopped the nucleus into some fragments but as I try to emulsify catch hold of each fragment I find that I am just eating off the lens piece so in such cases we have to be extremely careful we can tilt the nuclear piece and as we try to catch it we must be sure that there should be a lot of thin thick lens material in front otherwise we can just eat off the thin plate of lens matter and catch the posterior capsule we can tilt the lens material like this and then it becomes safe and this is the last portion of the nucleus and it is done and now there is some cortex percent SPMC is injected I'm going to use a 23 gauze Simco cannula to remove this cortex I'm going to use the Simco cannula just like an coaxial irrigation aspiration I didn't have to go through the side port in this case 
I could hold the lens material like this and remove all the cortex. So all the cortical lens matter is removed. We can see there is no red reflex. There is grayish white reflex and this is because of the retinal detachment in this case. And now a single piece monofocal intraocular lens is being implanted in the capsular bag. The lens is dialed in such a way that the haptics are about 90 degree away from the main incision. This is because I want to go behind the eye well to remove the visco from the capsular bag. If an haptic is just in front of the main incision, it becomes cumbersome to go behind. So the haptics are about 80 to 90 degree away from the main incision. And this is how we can remove the behex. Hold on haptic, pull centrally, go peripherally and all the flanges are untucked and the device is pulled out. It takes only few seconds to remove the BHEX people expansion device. We don't need any injector system. So this is removal of visco from the capsular bag and this is removal of visco from the anterior chamber and when we have only one side port we can use bimanual irrigation aspiration carefully. Here the aspirating port is through the side port and the irrigation is through the main incision and the anterior lip of the main incision is lifted off and this minimizes leakage of fluid. So the visco is nicely removed and now the single side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of this stab incision. And now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. This is the final stiff. The interchamber is thoroughly lavaged and pure BSS remains at the conclusion of surgery. The interchamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.